The following NBC Sports program is brought to you in living color. When you mention Atlanta, most people think of Gone with the Wind, Peachtree Street, or Coca-Cola. It's right here in Atlanta that America's favorite soft drink got started, you know. Now, those are some pretty nice things to be known for. But soon, we'll be adding another. Very soon, Atlanta is going to be the home of the man who broke the most famous baseball record of them all. And who knows, it could happen right here tonight. Now, whatever happens, we hope you enjoy tonight's game and this special programming honoring the man who could make it an historic moment in sports. And as you watch the game, now and then pop open an ice cold bottle of Coke for added enjoyment. Coca-Cola, it's the real thing, just like a Major League Baseball game. And what's a better combination? America's favorite pastime and America's favorite soft drink. Coca-Cola, it's the real thing. Well, nobody really heard or knew too much about me until Hank hit number 712. And of course, everybody's been following his career right around now. And uh, I was having a real good year in Houston, but uh, I really wasn't getting any recognition as far as press or anything like that goes until he hit number 712. And then everybody started calling me 712 instead of Dave Roberts, so they know who I am now. When I think of Hank Aaron, I guess I think uh, respect probably more than anything else. I respect Hank as much as uh, any other hitter that I've ever faced. Horror. And uh, also 714, I don't think uh, any pitcher wants to give it up, and someone's going to have to. And I think that the biggest problem with pitchers is that uh, they've got all this on their mind, and I think there's just as much pressure on the pitchers, probably more, than there is on Aaron, really, to hit it. Tremendous hitter, an athlete with great ability, a, a tremendous long ball hitter. I know for me, he's only hit five home runs off of me, but they've all only been when it counted. Well, Joe, when I think of Henry Aaron, I think of one of the class men in all of baseball and a man that I probably never missed a turn against with the Milwaukee Braves and then the Atlanta Braves. There was a lot of times that I saw that man standing with a bat in his hand. That's probably why he had so many home runs. But I'm happy they went that way instead of back through the middle. And seriously, I hope that uh, Henry gets all the acclaim that's certainly due him, and uh, he's a great guy. Infinity. The first home run I ever gave up in the big leagues was to Aaron. And I think it's still going. It's going into infinity somewhere, and I've been trying to figure out a way to keep him from doing it ever since. Hank Aaron has a weight problem. He can't wait for the season to start so he can get out there and knock the hell out of a pitch. A lot of people think that uh, I'm just uh, a great ball player, was just a great ball player for the last four or five years. And I'm surprised that no one have asked me about uh, what is the one most single thing that you are proud of? They disregard that question whatsoever. They don't think about it. Can I ask you a question? Please do. What's the one single thing <laughs> that you are most proud of in all well, your career? I would baseball? have to say total bases, Joe. Total this bases. is something that, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, your buddy, Stan Musial held that record for such a long, long sure, time, yeah. you know. And I have to say, this is the one thing that I'm most proud of, not so much as a home run. You know, sure, I'm glad to be in a position where I've got 700 home runs, but the total bases is a thing. That means that you had to be consistent for a long, long time. So this is where, you know, I often tell newspaper men that I'm not only proud of the 700 home runs that I've hit, but I'm more proud of the, the one record that I think will stand for a long, long time, and that's the total base. 700 yeah. letters every two days. How much of that would be I would say man? about, uh, we get about, about 600 of that is uh, really as kids and people all over the United States is pulling from it. You know, and when I say 600, I mean the other 100 probably is people that's it's really just living in the past with Babe Ruth. It's not hate mail, so to uh -huh. speak. It's the people that want, do not want Babe Ruth home run record wiped off, you know. They so wanna... there is no hate mail as, as far as hate mail has been defined, where they say you are black and you don't, uh, you shouldn't be doing that. You... Well, it's not that many, Joe. We do get some, but it's not that many. But uh, I would say that... Uh, uh, it's just a small amount of mail that we get compared to the 
most good letters that I've received. I want you to be the sportscaster, or be the guy to ask the questions, and I will be Henry Aaron. And you ask me some of the questions, or all of the questions, that they've been asking you. I'm sure you've been asked many questions. Okay. That's going to be fun. I hope so. All right. <laughs> I never hit 714 home runs. Go ahead there, Joe Sportscaster. All right. Henry, let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, what did you do to make your wrist so strong? Well, I guess when I was a kid in school, I threw a lot of spitballs, and that works on your wrist a lot. <laughs> How did you make your wrist strong? <laughs> Karen, I up two or three flights of steps that made my wrist strong. Okay, ask tongues. me. All right, ask me again. All right. How did you manage to make your wrist so strong? Well, I lived in this Italian neighborhood, and we used to deliver ice with tongs. <laughs> and I used to go up the... <laughs> okay, ask me another one. Well, this is one that stunts you. Uh, which way, when you dress, you put your uniform on, do you put your left your left shoe on first or your right shoe on first? Which one? Somebody really asked you that? During the All-Star game. Asked Somebody you? Asked, said, you want, which, which, which shoe do you put on first, your right or your left? i got to ask you. <laughs> how did you answer that? I told him to come in the clubhouse the day of the All-Star game. He can find out. And watch you. <laughs> and watch me. Henry, uh, do you feel the pressure? Feel any pressure at all? No, no, not a lot. I, I don't sleep much. I haven't been eating much. And I don't feel any pressure. I'm a little nervous and scratchy, but no. Nah. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. No, I can't really believe it. Well, and uh, it bothers me a little bit. I choke oh, up a no, lot. Oh, no, I, I figured it. I figured yeah, it. Would. I choke yeah, up a lot. Yeah. Uh, well, tell me, how do you cope with this every day, constantly, you know, this pressure thing? Well, uh, how do I cope with it? Well, I just come out and I figure. I come out, and if I'm here, I'm going to... Just do the best you can, huh? Yeah. How do you answer that? <laughs> what do you tell them? Do you have a different answer for these? Well, the only thing I tell them, Joe, is that uh, really it's no pressure on me. You know, I feel like uh, 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 the thing that I'm doing now, you know, it can take me two or three years uh -huh. to tie a break baby roof record. So, actually, it's no pressure on me at all. Now, that's the best answer I can give them, but they constantly, you know, they want to get the answer that you just gave me. Uh-huh. Well, another question there. What size bat do you use? I use a 33 and a half ounce bat. He says, that, you use a bat that light? I said, yeah, 33 and a half ounce. Are you sure about that? I said, yeah. He says, just pick it up. And they go and pick it up. He says, it doesn't weigh 33 and a half ounces. It must weigh 35. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like they know. Yeah. <laughs> I've been following your career for a long time, Hank. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed the progress that you made. Uh, which way do you bat, left or right? <laughs> oh, no, you're putting me on. Somebody asked you which way you bat? <laughs> Somebody asked me which way I hit. Is that the most unusual question they ask you? Well, I get a lot of requests for my hair, you know, a piece of my hair. People want to uh, send it through the mail, you know. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's really funny. You gotta bring that up, then. you? Well, maybe I hit 700 home runs, and that's why I'm like this. Because I kept sending it out. Do you send you it out? You kept sending all yours yeah. out. Do they ask you for a piece of your hair? Yes, they do. Joe, did you ever think you'd be challenging Babe Ruth home run record? You mean we're not playing I'm Henry Aaron now? You're talking about Joe Garagiola? Joe Garagiola. Okay, now you realize, I'm sure, somebody hasn't told you that Babe Ruth hit 714 home runs, right? right? And you're wondering if I challenged him? Yeah. Do you know if I took all my home runs, including the three I hit on the playground, and multiplied by nine, I'd still be 28 short? No, I never thought I'd challenge Babe Ruth's record. I tried to catch one of your home runs. Man. You're kidding. Yeah. Where? In tell me. Tell in me. Pittsburgh. Look right at the camera and tell him. I tried to catch one of your home runs. How far was it? About 380. Look in the camera. <laughs> How far? About How far 380. was it? 380. And the wind was blowing in. No, blowing in. I mean, against blowing me. Blowing in. Yeah. yeah. And you thought you could catch it. Yeah. And you jumped up. Jumped up. And you didn't get it. Didn't get it. And Somebody that, thought you were Ralph Conner, though. That's the kind of question they came. They said, that must have been Ralph Conner. The way I hit that ball. Switch hitting. Yeah. yeah. But tell them that it was hit hard. <laughs> it was hit hard. You didn't want to catch it because you might hurt your hand. I was afraid it was going to hurt my yeah. hand. You wouldn't be able to play again. Right. Right? Right. You're quite a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tony, as you know, Al's strength is uh, keeping the hitter off stride and moving the ball around. And I think he has truly one of the most outstanding straight changes in baseball today. And I'm sure that if it's working uh, good for him, that Aaron's going to see a few of them. <laughs>